Hey, I'm going to show you how to use the Amazing Slow Downer and some of the ways I use to practice it. If you search Amazing Slow Downer in the iTunes Store, you can get it on an iPad, an iPhone, or a MacBook. I have my iPad here. And I believe it's about $10 to $15, but I have it installed here. This is what it's going to look like. I use Amazing Slow Downer often to both practice and learn new things. So often the basic the basic features of it are the ability to speed and slow down speed up or slow down a song and but also to change the pitch. So I have here a song that's uploaded which I'll show you how to do in a second. I just want to show you some of the functionality here. So speed is going to make it faster or slower. Alright, so moving something slower is helpful when you are trying to learn something new. You also can control the pitch. So I raised it by a half step there. And that's a whole step. So over here it'll say 3.0, that means three half steps. So this song is originally in A, I believe. If I were to go down by two half steps, that would bring it to G. There's a way if you hold down to, to go by less than half steps, but you pretty much never want to do that. You want to keep it even, 1.0, so either higher or lower. I'll show you how I loop things now. Oftentimes I like to loop things if I'm learning a specific solo or if I'm trying to practice a specific section. Before I do that, I'll show you how I get a song in here. There's two ways to do it. One is to go to the iTunes store and purchase it. So I want to work on this song. So this is one way to do it. You could purchase it on iTunes. And once it's purchased, and it'll be imported into your library. So you can go back to the Amazing Slow Downer. And at the bottom at the, of the main page, it'll say Import Song. You'll go from Music Library, and then you can search your song. Here it is. I'm going to click that little Add button. And now it's here. You'll see the song is here. So that's one way to get the song in there. Another way, especially if you're not working on an entire song or just a, a piece of the song, you could actually just record into your whatever recording app of choice. You can record, say, the solo here. name that let's say fiddle solo you can name it anything here all right oops I forgot to save it there but anyway you get the idea so how I get it from here to the amazing slowdown is I'm going to share it share the audio not video and then amazing slowdown should show up here here it is all right, it says imported file is available in the other song slash inbox folder. So that's here, other songs. We'll go to inbox and you see here, I, I the name didn't come up, but here it is. So that method of course is free and I do that for really short sections of songs. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you if we go back to the full length song here, some of the other features. Uh, one of the very popular features is the ability to loop. So let's see this mandolin solo. Say you wanted to learn the mandolin solo here. What I would do is I would set a loop. So I'm going to slow it down. And I'm going to try to get it right at the beginning of the mandolin solo.
All right, so what I did is I set the beginning of the loop to start at the beginning of the mandolin solo, and then I set the end of the loop to start to stop at the end of the mandolin solo. So what I have here is a very short snippet of the song, 18 seconds long, that is just a mandolin solo. You'll see it'll repeat on its own now. So that's a great way to listen to it multiple times without having to go back and forth. But there's also additional uh, really great practice tools here. So say you, you've listened to it a bunch and you want to start practicing it but can't play it quite fast. You can go to the settings here. This is a really great feature. Um, I go to change speed at new loop. Now you can basically what this is going to do is that every time it loops you can set it to go a little bit faster. So I have it set to increase by 5% each time. If it was a really difficult solo, you could do it by 1% or 3%. But anyway, you'll see here now, it's going to repeat. Say I set it at 70%. I can practice along with it. And maybe that's a good speed for me right now, so I'm playing along with it. And then once it repeats, I don't have to click anything. I still have my instrument in hand. I could just, it's automatically going to go faster. Now it's at 75%. Again, it'll go to 80%. Automatically at 80%. So that's a really great way to get a solo up to speed if you're trying to be, uh, if you're, if you're trying to, to, to be able to play along with some of these great recordings. Now the final thing I do, other than learning solos here, is I use the Amazing Slowdowner as a template for practice. So I might, some of you know me, know I use the song Banks of the Ohio for practice very often. So what I might, might do for Banks of the Ohio is I could play back up along with this track and set the whole song to repeat. And every time the song repeats, it goes a little bit faster. That way I can practice playing back up faster and faster. One last thing I wanted to show you is that there's multiple spots in the uh, song that you want to loop. You can actually save the loops. So I have, uh, you'll see in some of these songs I have the loops saved. Let's see if there's one that I have two loops saved. Yeah, for this one I have two loops saved. So I'll show you how to save it, but here's an example. So I set a loop and I saved it, so this is going to be a fiddle solo. Etc. And then I can go to the other break here. So saving solos in here is a great way to review them if you need to listen back. Uh, or to work on them across multiple days. The way to do that is, let's see, I save, I have the mandolin solo saved here, so I'm gonna click the save button and then I'm gonna name it, say Mando Solo. Uh, I'm gonna click done, and then I click store loop. You see it, it saved it now. So for example, if I came back to this song and I, and I started at the beginning, if I wanted to go right to that mandolin solo, I'm going to turn on the loop feature and I'm going to go to that saved solo, mando solo here. So those are some of the ways I use the Amazing Slowdowner. I hope that is helpful for you and I hope you um, check it out because I think it's a really great resource for practicing.